All right, let me show you what we got working with today. All right, at the lake this morning, and it's looking like a beautiful day. Oh my God! <laughs> Dude, they're busted. <laughs> I swear to God, it was like a two and a half pounder. I might even got it on camera. I saw the entire bass. A interesting, unique way to start a, a video off. I, I hope you guys, I know you guys heard it. I might've caught it on video, but I was gonna show you guys the watercolor because it is a little muddy for this lake. And we Blake's up there at the boat right now. We were thinking about fishing it or going to another. We're actually gonna fish it. And I walked back down here and I, I don't know if it was feeding or whatever, but like I saw the entire fish and it was like a two and a half pound chunk bass uh, just come up and like bust on the water right by the dock. Water's a little muddy, but shoot, they're busting in January. Let's go catch them. Okay, so we're getting ready to go on the water now. Blake's gonna open his box up real quick and take a look at what's inside. So this is the March MTB. Um, we're gonna open it up and see what's in it. Oh, I got the same crankbait. This is the six tenths movement. That's a good looking jig. Living rubber is good for cold water. The chartreuse will definitely stand out today. Little bitty TZ Gambler swim baits. And then the Catchco Pro Series grub worms. Thing. Yeah, I got the same thing on too. So if I see like lures working today though, I definitely see these two working. And then maybe the grub or something. But yeah, the jig, jig's probably your strongest bet today and the crankbait I'd say. I'd agree. Yep. All right. We're gonna go ahead and get the boat wet and get fishing. All right, so I just got in the water. And as you can see though, the water color is a little off. It's, it's a little muddy. And we were actually thinking about going to a different lake, but we're just gonna go ahead. This lake is a very good lake for around where we live. You know, typically around where we live, if you, you probably already know if you watch my videos, it, it can be rough. You know, the fishing's not the best in this area of the country, but this is a typically a really good lake. It's just a little muddy right now, but I'm not gonna let that discourage us as of right now. I'm looking at Blake right now. He don't, he don't know where to park. What is he doing? Blake's struggling on where to park right now. The water is muddy, but we're gonna go ahead and still give it a shot and see what happens. Definitely excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the GoPro ready. Blake's gonna come on down here and get fishing and start our day. But I don't know, I, I have a weird feeling like they're, you could catch fish like flipping right now. So we're doing the most amount of fish wins. First fish of the day right there. Alright, first one of the day. You got one too? Blake got one too. Oh, that looks like a big one. Oh, oh, yeah, boy. Double. First, we went we went the whole morning. Yeah, you can flip them. But the whole morning without a bite, then we double up on our first two fish. That's a good little fish. Blake using a trap, I'm using a little crankbait. Not bad at all. Nah, we're using top water. I'm using that double plopper. Probably been fished for like an hour and we haven't had any bites really or any fish landed. And all of a sudden Blake and I just doubled up on our first fish of the day. Blake's a little bit bigger. He's actually a nice fish, uh, about a two pounder I'd say right there. And I got like a little pound and a quarter, pound and a half fish, uh, both on uh, red moving baits. He was throwing a route trap, I'm throwing a crank bait. With that said, we were a little optimistic about how uh, the fishing was gonna be because of the water color, but with the first two fish of the day, looking like it might be a good day at that. So let's let them go. There they go. Awesome. Give me some, bud. Let's get back at it. Let's run. You don't like it? What? Yo, we got double. 
we got a double. Oh, mine, mine actually might be all right. Oh, no, mine's just a baby. Get up in here. He ain't that little. He's all right. He's like 13 inches. Chris is over there in the kayak. Say yo, Chris. Hola. This is my second fish of the day. Decent little bass. He's real gold. Must be like a watercolor. There you go, bud. Take a PVC pipe and mount the bracket on the back and use it as a power bolt. You got one, son? Yeah. Wait, yeah. what is that on? I was going to say. You didn't get down the A-rig. I know that. Yeah. Blake was his second fish of the day. Oh, he ain't bad. You going to risk it? Oh, he got him in. There you go. Say hi. Hello. Hey. Here's Blake's second fish of the day. Cut on rod trap. Right out off this grass flat. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Nice little fish. They all been about the same size today. There you go. A little guy right there. Look at that. A real gold today. Oh, quick release. There you go, bud. All right, everyone. It's about 12 o'clock. Got on a, a little flurry in the morning. Just a little school of like, there were smaller fish as you could tell, like pound and a half, two pounders, stuff like that. Other than that one area that we were catching fish at, and I kind of expected that like once I saw the conditions of the lake, just because they typically do like group up there. And uh, Chris was also fishing there too. So we were dividing fish. And after after a while, like, you know, the fish just stopped biting just because we, we were catching most of them. So. Uh, what we're doing now, instead of just beating our brains in here, we're actually going to go load the boat up and head to another lake. And this one is one that I've never, I don't think I've ever filmed here. So I will see you guys when we get to the next lake. I thought they were my first one. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know why why I wanted to do this. Yeah, I just want to leave and like just go fish this golf course by my house. Like, like get something to eat, wipe the boat down, go fish the course or not. Cause we still gotta wipe the boat. Oh, it's 1:45. I mean, I, I I honestly don't. I I shouldn't have came here. This was my bad. We wouldn't have time to even go there tonight. Here we go. Here we go. You think so? We get home if we left right now. We get home at like 2:20. 215-220. Alright, so the fishing was, was, was bad. It was terrible here. Uh, we probably should have stayed at the first lake, but we ended up coming here and it's just, I don't know, this isn't as good of a lake to start with, but I, I was, the reason I came here is just because I did think the water's going to be clear. Shouldn't have done it. Just flat out shouldn't have done it. We should have stayed there because we were catching fish. But with that said, what we're about to do is head on home wipe the boat off because it is really dirty we're going to wipe that off and then we're going to finish up at some pond so we kind of like did everything today so that's what we're doing we got nothing else to do today we're just going to have fun uh, and take advantage of the nice winter day that we have and hopefully catch some fish i don't know why i never ice fished this pond i should have never thought about it how do you feel is he little? No, he was good. He was? Yeah, but he didn't even have the bait. I saw, I saw you hook him. I got, I got one. Yo, is this a catfish? No, do I got two? I might have two. Something, something weird's going on. No, it's just hung up in the grass. There it is. I thought I had two or a catfish. It was flopping weird. That's not a bad little guy, I guess. Have fish this pond in for ever i mean forever we just decided to come here and score in a few more bass tonight it's out here having fun let's go and let him go water's gym clear a lot better than what we were fishing earlier there it is saw that it's a good little fish first one i had one not a little oh that was a good one dang that was a good fish 
stopped. I mean smoked it. Did you see him hit? You saw him hit it before I even knew anything happened. Yeah, because my line was slack. That's money right there. Called it. All right. That makes it a tie game. Me and Blake are starting to get into our competitive aspect of fishing as days winding down. We just both tied up. We both have five fish now today. Blake's sitting there over in the corner. He's lined himself up another one. I didn't know he was hitting. It looked like it was coming straight at me. My bad, man. I didn't know you were hitting. Okay, I, ran, I, I yelled. I didn't yell loud enough. <laughs> no, you're cool. It's my, uh, it's my fault. It was way over your head. All right. I got one question. What's up? How'd you guys get the fish here? Did you have some pro or what? Oh, uh, no, we didn't. We, didn't. We, we were just getting out of the way when people uh, would golf. Okay. Yeah. He looks like a bluegill fisherman. You guys have got on this John Bird and smoke cigars and fish some bluegill. He's a good old boy. All right, everyone, we are now done fishing for today. Blake and I are cleaning up the boat right now. Since I've had this boat, it's never been this dirty. It's, it's filthy right now. It needs some more cleaning up for the season. I'll show you guys real quick what I caught the fish on today, what me and Blake caught him on. Uh, we caught him on, you guys saw earlier, which was like a rattle trap and a square bill crankbait. And then we went to the ponds. I caught one a rattle trap, but the main thing was this little, uh, shaky head right here. And we were just using a shaky head worm. Uh, Blake was using a spin rod. I was using a bait caster, but that was definitely the ticket at the ponds. This warm weather has definitely got the fish active and probably thinking about spring, honestly, but we still got a little bit and I expect it to be getting cold again. But with that said, right now we're taking advantage of it and I'm probably gonna, you know, go fishing tomorrow as well and take advantage of this nice weather that we're having. So if you did enjoy, drop a like below. Thank you again for watching as always and I will see you next time.